here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful string ornaments. There's a string cone, Christmas tree decorations, and also some Christmas balls that you can just attach to your tree with a little piece of ribbon, or you could put some mistletoe in there and hang it above your door, whatever you want to do this holiday season. And these are so easy to make, and you can even make them with the kids, and they're very inexpensive. So what you're going to need is some um, glue mixed with water. I have 50% glue, 50% water, so it's like almost like the consistency of milk. You could also use starch, like liquid laundry starch. Um, you're gonna need some white cotton string, like some crochet cotton or um, baker's twine, anything like that. You're going to need a uh, balloon, like a water balloon for the round ones. And for the cones, you're gonna take a, you'll need to either make a cone out of like an old cereal box like I did and then laminate it with packing tape, or you could use a styrofoam cone and uh, laminate it with uh, some saran wrap. You just wanna make sure you have something so that it will release when you're done. But the process for making the balls and the cones are exactly the same. Um, so for the ball, what you wanna do is, I like to kind of squash it so it's more of a circle. And you can find these um, these balloons at like the dollar store or the grocery store or a toy store. They're pretty easy to find. So what you want to do is wrap them pretty firmly. You want to go all the way around one way, then kind of turn it so you get all the way around this. And you want it to, um, you really want to cover the whole thing. And I can't wrap it too tightly and keep it in front of the camera. But just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until it looks like this. And then simply, I'm going to get that popsicle stick I used to stir out of the way. I just simply sponge on the glue water mixture. Now I have done them in the past where I've soaked the thread and the thing with that is that it tends to tangle or you have to use smaller pieces. So I like just to, um, just to wrap it and then go in and sponge all of the, um, the glue water on. Now when you're doing the cone, it's the exact same thing, except I recommend that you um, dip like maybe like a foot of the string in the glue first. Don't do much more than that or it's just going to tangle and be really hard to work with. Dip about a foot of the, uh, the string in the glue and then start wrapping. And that will give it enough um, grab so that you can keep grab grabbing, because otherwise the string, when you're, when you're wrapping it, it wants to creep up the cone. So that if you add the glue first to like the first foot or so, it'll be fine. Just make sure you thoroughly cover whichever one you're doing. Make sure you just thoroughly cover it with glue. And it's really easy to see if you use a sponge brush because it kind of makes it bubbly. And don't worry, it's not gonna, you're not gonna get like glue on the inside of the, between the lines or anything because it will just kind of dissipate. Um, but you'll be able to see where you put it. Then save like a little like a yogurt cup or um, this was like an applesauce cup from the recycling and just set the um, thing in there to dry. You can also use these plastic egg cartons. They work really well for letting them dry if you have a bunch to do. And then after about a day, flip it over because you'll notice that it's still wet on the bottom. Flip it over so that part can dry out. And then when that's all dry and with the glue and water, it only takes about, I would say a day and a half, if that. When it's all dry, you'll have something that looks like this. I used a blue balloon, obviously. You want to go in and just pop the, um, pop the balloon. Sometimes you can do it in a couple different places. You can hear it separating from the string. Actually, you can use that. Um, there's my little stick there. Just make sure before you pop it that you don't have any soft spots. All the other balloons from all these other ones came out in one piece, so watch, this will be the one that that won't get out of there. Probably I left, I did leave this one on longer. Oh no, it's coming. Once you get it going, usually kind of, uh, kind of lets loose and then you can grab it out. Let me just pause this for a second. All right, I use my crochet hook in there to just kind of fish out the leftover pieces. I think I can get this out in one or two pieces. Oh, there we go. And there you have that beautiful string ball. So I'll tell you what I mean about the uh, about the cone here. If you wet the, I'll just undo this, that one there. So you do need to spool out a little bit and then just kind of dip that. And your fingers are gonna be completely messy when you're doing this. So, you know, I would, uh, I'll just wipe down my table as soon as I'm done, but I recommend that you put wax paper down or something so that um, you can kind of control the mess, even newspaper, anything like that. Um, 
and then you can start wrapping around the cone and it's going to grab if you don't put the glue on it's going to slide around and you think the slippery wet glue would make it slide more but it doesn't it gives it it gives it a little grab and then it actually helps the uh the upper layers grip to it and then you sponge on the glue you still need to sponge on the glue at the end but um it's much easier to handle that way so you just keep again doing that until you've got it completely covered sponge on the glue let it dry and then if you just give it a little squeeze the next day then you can um, then you can slide it off and it will look like that I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful and I hope you try it with your kids um, or even just on your own because it's really a fun craft I think they would sell really well at craft fairs too they only take a few minutes to make not counting drying time of course but I think you could sell them for a couple bucks each at a craft fair and still make a pretty cool profit I want to thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up up if you like this video tutorial and um, share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.